What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and today I'm going to be showing you the best trading method to use at the start of EAFC 24 Ultimate Team. But before we jump into that, I'm going to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 5% off at checkout. Now let's get right into this video. All right, boys, so diving into this video and the simplest and easiest trading method for you to make coins at the start of Ultimate Team, we are going to be going over a method that we call mass bidding. Now, you might be pretty familiar with this, but it is something that's super vital to use throughout the year whenever you're on a low coin balance. And there, I've got a couple tricks for you guys to make it even better. So if you don't know what mass bidding is, mass bidding is essentially you're just going to pick any sort of like gold common, gold rare player. You're going to find their price and you're just going to bid in them, bid on them in big quantities for just below their price. So as an example here, and I'll show you how to pick players to do this with in a second, we'll look at Tammy Abraham here. So this Tammy Abraham card right now sells for about 950 coins, as you can see there. Let's look at a thousand here. There's quite a few listed for a thousand, so we'll be trying to sell him for 950. Now, I'm gonna try to pick him up for 200 coins under this price. I could even go to 150, but I'm gonna go 200 here, and we're gonna just bid on this guy in a mass amounts. Now, it doesn't seem like a ton of coins, obviously. After tax, if we win a card for 700 and sell them for 950, we're making just over 200 coins a card, right? But as you can see here, there's so many cards here and there's not all that much competition because who is really sitting here bidding literally minimum price on gold cards that not really anybody is going to use so it makes it pretty easy and as you can see here i've got about 10 cards that are going to expire in the next two minutes that i'm going to win and if every card i'm making 200 coins on that's 2,000 coins profit just across these cards and the reason this is so vital at the beginning of the game is because number one you don't have a lot of coins to play with so if you've got like 5,000 coins this is going to be the perfect method because you could go bid on four of these cards flip them and boom you've made a thousand coins basically and that's a thousand coins profit from your five thousand coins and the more coins you have the easier it's going to be to make coins so i went through before the video and looked at some deals as well on cards and you can see here i've got some nacho fernandez and spinazola cards here as well nacho fernandez we picked up quite a few i believe he goes for about 1100 coins here you could see that we won a few tammy uh, Tammy Abraham's there as well and he sells for about 950 so it's a pretty simple method at the end of the day it's all about just finding a card that nobody else is doing this with so you can see Nacho Fernandez about 1100 1200 coins here and we won quite a few for 750 or 800 now how do you pick the player to do this with well it's pretty simple actually you're gonna head over to footman here and what I do is I just hit the players section here and you're going to hit price. And I literally just type in, I just go like 950 to 1200 for the price. You're typically looking for guys that are around that thousand coin mark. And then what you're going to do is it'll just give you all these players and you can really just go through the list and pick someone until you have one that works. So for example, let's go try it with Danny Olmo. Just a live example of me trying a player. So go type in Danny Olmo here. And again, if there's any sort of competition on the card, I typically just leave it because I'm bound to find somebody that it's gonna work better with. So let's see if we can win a Danny Olmo for 700. You can see there's literally no bids on Danny Olmo here. And obviously at this point in the year, there's a lot less competition on this, but Early in the year as well, there's so many packs getting opened that there's just a ridiculous amount of cards getting listed for open bid, and it's still pretty easy to pull off a method like this. So you can see this Danny Olmo sells for about 950 or 1,000 coins, and I'm literally just going to sit here and win every single card for 700 coins on bid. It's super simple, super easy. Mass bidding is the way to go if you're on a low budget. There isn't, it's, it's almost impossible to miss on. And you can see like, sometimes you'll get outbid on cards and it's not a big deal because you're gonna win plenty. Again, I won all these Abrahams for 700, got outbid on a few of them here. Same with the Spinazola, got outbid there. And then you're just gonna go through and start listing your cards up. Now, 
a key when it comes to listing your cards here so that you don't kind of tank the price of your player because if I go through and I win 50 Tammy Abrahams, I don't want to list them all at once, obviously, because that's going to tank the price of this Tammy Abraham. Because if there's 50 of them listed for 950 coins here, then the next guy that comes in and lists his cards, he's going to list them for 900. And it's just going to like slowly tank the price of Tammy Abraham. So what I like to do is I typically like to list like five or so at a time, wait for them to sell. And then as they sell, I list my cards up. So I'm not kind of bringing the price of Tammy Abraham down artificially. And I would do this with any player you have. And it's also why I like to do this with multiple players. So for example, like doing it with Spinazzola and Nacho Fernandez and Tammy Abraham all at once so that I'm, I can, you know, list as many cards as I want here and not really worry about it. But you can see the profits are absolutely flowing in here. It's super simple. Super easy to do this method at the beginning of the game. And it's just all about using Footfin to find cards that you can do this with. And of course, I'll be showing you guys at the beginning of the game, popular cards I do this with and easy ways to make coins with it. But guys, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. Let me know if you want to see more trading methods, ultimate team advice, what you want to see leading into EAFC 24 ultimate team. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.